Welcome to our demonstration of the image mouse over effect. Uh, those of you who have looked at our previous video uh, will remember that we went ahead and did a demonstration of how to do it with text. Well, this one actually is going to do it with an image file. So let's begin by looking at what the result is going to be. In this case, we have a web page that has a graphic on it. It's just a mouse with no color. Now if we move the mouse cursor over that, you'll notice that it changes color. If we move away, it returns back to its original state. If we click on the image, you'll notice that the mouse button on the image changes. We move away again, it actually changes back to the original color. Now, in order to do that and create this kind of page, you need not only the HTML page, but you also need some graphics to go along with it. So you'll notice here we have three uh, graphic files, three GIF files. Uh, if we look at the mouse over .gif, you'll notice that you have mouse with, that's fully colored. If you look at the mouse normal.gif, you have one that has no color on it, and the mouse click.gif has uh, a colored mouse with the, one of the buttons a different color. Let's look at the code on, to see how we use these resources. You'll notice that we have just a plain HTML page, and in the body we have basically the little header that says here's the demonstration of an image mouse over effect followed by a horizontal rule. Now below that we have a div statement and we're going to use the div statement just to create a border. So we've styled it <coughs> with a little bit of CSS and we've told it that we want a border solid and we want the div to be a width of 261 pixels. And that's pretty close to what the picture files width is. Next, we have our image tag. Now in HTML, the image tag is used to uh, put an image on the web page. The SRC attribute of that tag tells us what um, picture is going to be used by the image tag. In this case, we're using mouse underscore normal dot gif. So when the page opens, we'll have the picture of the mouse with no color on it. Now because we're going to be referring to this picture programmatically, we need to give it a name. And that's what this ID attribute is all about. In this case, we're going to call it my mouse pick. You could add multiple pictures uh, to the web page, you would just have to change the ID to a different name. So you could have my mouse pick one, my mouse pick two, etc. Now, we're going to leverage a couple of other attributes for the image tag, including the on mouse over, the on mouse out, and the on mouse down attribute. The on mouse over attribute controls what happens when you move your mouse over the picture. The on mouse out attribute controls what happens when you move your mouse cursor away from the picture. The on mouse down attribute controls what happens when you click on the picture. For the on mouse over, what we're going to do is we're going to invoke a JavaScript function that we wrote called change pick. Now, change pick itself has two attributes. The first one is going to tell the web page what to replace the picture that's currently there with. So in this case, when we move our mouse over the picture, we're going to change the picture to 
mouse underscore over dot get. So we change it from the picture that has no color on the mouse to the picture that has color on the mouse. The mouse out uh, function is very similar. Again, same thing. We're going to use the same function, change pick. But in this case, we're going to make it change back to mouse underscore normal dot gif. So when I move the, the mouse away from the picture, change the picture back to mouse normal dot gif, the one with no color on it. For the mouse down, if I click on the picture, I want to change the picture to mouse click, excuse me, mouse click dot underscore dot gif. So this will be the colored mouse with the button that's a different color. Let's look at the function just for a second. The function is contained within the script tags pretty close to the top of the screen here. And you'll notice here I, we have, we've declared it function change pick. And we have on the first attribute the file that we want to change the pick to as well as the picture ID. You'll no, remember that we gave the picture a name, in this case my mouse pick. <clears throat> and we're passing that to the change pick function. The first line in the function uh, simply assigns that object, that pick ID, to a variable called my pick. Afterwards, we can go ahead and manipulate the uh, attributes of that object using this my pick. So in this case, we're going to manipulate the src attribute of that object. If you remember, src is the part of the image tag that tells the image where to look for the picture. In this case, we're going to tell it okay, change the picture to whatever is in the pick file variable. So if mouseover.gif is in the pick file variable, we're going to change uh, the src to mouseover.gif that's represented by this pick file. And that in a nutshell is how you do a mouseover effect with an image. If you wish, uh, we have uh, this as a download on our website at www.macneildata.com.